My name is Kola Balogun. I represent Oyo South Territorial District. Mr. President, there is a question that uh, has been asked from me, especially by our friends in the media. Every time my, my path crosses their path, they will ask me, what do you consider to be the greatest achievement of the next Senate? My response has always been that it is our collective determination to return the country back to January, December budgetary cycle under your leadership. Mr. President, we have to appreciate you for this effort. Let me also commend President Muhammad Buhari for the fact that we are now having a second uh, budget proposal being debated. And Mr. President has submitted, has presented the budget to the National Assembly on record time. So we must also commend Mr. President for doing so. When I look at the 2021 budget proposal, I have noticed in it <coughs> a 65% increase on capital spending on education. For me, this is an appreciable increase. We shouldn't do less than that. Education is a necessary tool that we need to manipulate the manpower platform for national development. Education is the real safeguard of democracy. Education is a powerful tool of geopolitical stability. Therefore, any investment in that direction for me is commendable. Healthcare delivery services. I've also noticed an improvement. I've also noticed an increase in our location in the healthcare sector. The lesson of coronavirus pandemic has made this increase an imperative. Now we can have some money to fund our tertiary and primary health care uh, platform. Mr. President. Leader. Point of order. Point of order, Mr. President. Mr. President, so with this increase in allocation to health sector, it is my hope that we'll be able to have some funds to improve on our tertiary and primary health care delivery system. Mr. President, I've also observed that $198 billion is allocated to power sector. Uh, this, I believe, is targeted at the ongoing rural education project. Mr. President, when I sit back here, every time when we discuss the need to revitalize our moribund uh, paper mill or textile industries, I giggle. I do so because unless and until we fix the power sector, there is no way we can bring back our moribund industries. And if we do so, and the power sector is fixed, of course we'll be able to diversify the economy. We can expand the economy, and that we can create jobs for our youth. Mr. President, I appreciate all the efforts and support you've been given to the Power Committee. And I hope in the year to come, Time up. we will con Time up. continue to pay attention to the power sector. Mr. President. You have to round up, please distinguish. Yes. 13.8 trillion budget, out of which 5.49 trillion deficit will be financed by new borrowings. Mr. President, this is dreadful. And I say this with all sense of responsibility. 
when your balance, your budget is balanced. You, when your budget is not balanced, you run the risk of a rise in national debt. And when the national debt is high, there's no way you can expand the economy. Uh, some wish you have to round up now, please. Time up, time up, time up. Distinguished uh, Balogu, please round up. A deficit budget. So, Mr. President, we have to do the needful to ensure that we grow the economy, we expand the economy, and ensure that let's use our, our oversight function to ensure that we have more revenues so that our, our, our country will not become a debtor nation forever. I thank you. Thank you very much.